She drives me crazy. She drives me crazy. Three, two, one. Yikes! Oh, there oh, were screws geez. in it. Pulling out screws. We're pulling screws out. Oh my God, we do need to get these screws out. Why? Because this is connected to the top of the box. Oh. Okay, so now would be a good time. Oh, we yeah, okay. Sometimes muscle works better than mind. Yeah. Best part is they're riveted on. Are you kidding? So this is gonna be a big shelf. We'll probably put a little TV in here and some books and decorations. Today we are explaining how we wired our solar system uh, for off-grid living purposes. 1,200 watts of solar and an 800 amp hour battery bank. You know what I mean? So it's Sunday morning. We're gonna run our electrical wire today, but we wanted to give you guys a breakdown of kind of how that works. Hopefully this can be a really good resource for just starting to think through the electrical. And as we go through it ourselves, we'll obviously be including more also, we are not electricians and are not experts in this I at am, all. Just kidding. No. <laughs> For the fridge, right? Did we mention that we bought our fridge yesterday? Uh, Here's our first wire, folks. It's gonna run like this. In the wall. In the wall. We should go out and get those staples, babe. Should I? Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? You never know what she's doing. Stop. I'm trying to pull it tight. Well, so am I. I know, so that's why I'm... First cut, coming up. Yeah, I'm gonna run up through here. This should be fine. Should be fine. And our breaker box is going to be right here. Thinking this is going to be good. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe people put this stuff in their house. Marine grade wire. Oh, this is marine grade. I think so, yeah. It's the only shit they have, to be honest. The simplest way to do this is determine the wattage that you're going to be pulling. So, taking all of your appliances. They're not going to give you the amperage or they won't give you the wattage. They'll give you two of the three mostly, which is kind of annoying. Now, the equation is one watt equals one amp times volts. So amps times volts equals watts. If you wanted to find the amps, you would obviously do volts divided by watts. So to run most of your electrical, you kind of have to work backwards. The best way we found was to start out with Thinking and listing every electrical drawing appliance, whether it was an outlet, a fridge, our toilet fan, water heater, we really wanted to have that mapped out as to where it would be, how much of it. That way, when we go back to our solar panels, we can actually figure out how many amp hours of battery life do we need to serve this many appliances. I'm gonna go through and draw out where all of our outlets will be throughout the bus. These particular ones are gonna be GCFI approved. One by this little nook. Tom, so there it is. Tom's nook? Wow. No, Tom Nook. Tom Nook, that was his name. All right. Next, we're gonna do another four. Oh, the outlets. Where's our, yeah. I'm gonna do it in yellow since the wire is yellow. This is 12-2 gauge wire, which means it's perfect for 20 amp breakers and 12 volt wiring systems. So black is hot, white is neutral, and the one without the insulated covering is the ground. This is our battery bank. Right now we're planning on having four Renergy AGM 200 amp hour batteries, which in total 100 amp hours. <laughs> And then all along back on this wall of our garage here, we'll have our circuit breaker. This is where all of our wires will run. 
in through the sides of the bus. So on one 12 2 gauge wire, we are going to be running a 20 amp circuit 20 to amps. the refrigerator. Sorry, I was just confirming. You were looking at me like you were. On one 12 2 gauge wire, we're gonna be running a 20 amp circuit from the batteries to our refrigerator. Also be running another 12 2 gauge wire from the batteries to our air conditioning unit in our bedroom. And then what, there's gonna be one running from here to all the outlets on this side. Uh -huh. So they're all on one circuit. You want an outlet there, there, and there. Okay. So how we do that is like a D's. These look like chips, little chocolate chips. No, they don't. We asked someone at Home Depot if there was a difference between like a metal outlet box and a plastic one. So as far as they work, there, there's no difference. Why? What are you doing? I just don't want it to come out. Well, what, like, what are you doing now? I'm labeling it. Yo, well, this is gonna be the outlet that goes up there. Oh, that goes all the way up there. It's gonna be TV slash. Okay. Are we drilling for that today? Um, no. So we gotta see where that comes out to. some of this to make conduit for this wire that will come up here there will be a light switch right here now we're going to start talking about powering your batteries so you can store the energy and use it for your appliances so there's three ways that we're going to power our battery bank the solar panels which convert solar energy into dc power the charge controller controls that power to Put it into the batteries there's also shore power so hooking up to an electrical source such as an rv park and then also the alternator of the bus engine you need to find out what the amperage output of your alternator is by an isolator we'll go into that stuff later but we are planning on doing all three solar running off the alternator and having shore power capabilities so once we eventually get into purchasing all of our solar supply we will bring you guys through that a brief overview of solar power and how it works what really is important as far as having off-grid electricity in your bus is the amount of amp hours in the batteries you could have 2,000 watts of solar panels on your roof but if you only have 500 amp hours of battery life in those batteries, you're only gonna be capable of using 500 amp hours of electricity time. Outlet one, outlet two, outlet three, that's all we want on there, right? Unless we wanted to run an external outlet. So we're gonna leave some slack so we can run an outlet underneath into our storage box. I'm, uh, I'm hoping that you're understanding this because it's, it's not really that complicated. What I need to make sure I research is these connections. I almost wanna like run this, have all the wire exposed and just call an electrician and be like, hey, I have everything set up. I just want you to make the connections. You know what I mean? 